This is Matt. He's a college student, but he doesn't live anywhere near his college. That's what we like to call a commuter. Like any good commuter, he drives a car to school. This can bring up some challenging difficulties though. So in this documentary, we'll be handing out some helpful tips on how to be a good, more responsible commuter to better your college experience. The first very important tip that Matt here is about to find out. Make sure your tank is full before you head out to class. Don't worry, Matt. There's a gas station down the road, though it is in the opposite direction. Too bad you didn't fill it up the night before. That's what we like to call procrastination. But enough about that. Oh, it's packed. But what do you expect? Today you're late for class. It's always packed on those days. Not to worry, you'll find an empty pump soon. Looks like there's one right there. Oh, but remember, your gas tank's on the other side. There's a free one. Go get it quick. Success. Now you shouldn't be late to class. Time to get pumping, Matt. Or not. No time to dilly-dally, though. You gotta hurry and find another pump. Hopefully you have enough gas to get to the next one. Will he make it? Once again, success! Pumping gas is not only heavy on a commuter's time, it's also heavy on his wallet. Cheer up, Matt. At least you're not driving diesel. Now I know you're in a hurry, but don't forget to screw on your gas cap nice and tight. And don't forget your receipt. Attaboy. Now you can finally get on the road to education. Now remember, it's a long drive to school. Now would be a perfect time to make a mental checklist of your educational tool. Your cell phone, for example. Just imagine sitting in the library, trying to remember which chapter it was you were going to study. You know a quiz is today, but you're just not sure which chapter to focus on. If only you had your cell phone and you could contact one of your classmates. It's not as easy as just going back to the dorm room and picking it up. Remember, you're a commuter. Hey, why not ask that guy behind you? Yeah, him. He might have a cell phone. Success! Now you can call a classmate. Or not. What happened to that cell phone anyway? Doesn't look like you can make any calls with this one. Bet you wish you'd brought your own phone, huh, Matt? Well, just slide it on back, nice and easy. No harm done. Well, chin up, Matt. It's not like that quiz was going to be important anyway. Back to class. But at least you remembered your cell phone this time. But there's another very important thing that commuters have to watch out for. And that thing is... Traffic. Long, slow, boring traffic. It happens every time, and there's no way to avoid it. Heh, <laughs> sounds like you might be needing a new clutch there soon, huh, Matt? But cheer up. At least you're not behind a school bus. Oh wait, there's one now. 
Well, hey, it might not be turning the same way as you. Or is it? Well, at least you have a lot of time to think about other things you may be forgetting. Like your textbook. Just imagine walking into a nice, quiet study hall. Preparing to study the next chapter in your class. But then you realize something. You forgot your book. What are you going to do now? Hey, good call. That guy seems nice enough and he's in your class. What a nice friend. Or is he? Looks like someone's been studying up on deviance. Well, let's just hope you don't owe him any favors now. At least you remembered your book. Whew. Wait, looks like it's starting to rain. Well, as a commuter, you do have to go through a couple rain badges here and there. That's unavoidable. Let's just hope it doesn't get any worse. Oh, well... This may dampen your chances of getting to class on time, but at least you remembered your umbrella, right? I mean, just think. Have you ever come out of a classroom just to find that it's pouring rain and you totally forgot your umbrella? Yeah. Good luck getting to class without getting drenched. Well, watch out for that puddle there, Matt. Oh. Well, tough luck. Hey, look, she came to class prepared. But she's probably not a commuter. All right, you made it on time. You're even a little early. Now you can get that great parking spot. About time. Success, what a great spot. But wait, something's not right here. Oh, I get it. You should have checked your calendar, Matt. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day.